That's I did, one. Mr. Rosenbaum. Okay, describe that, please. He was very agitated. Um, he was Wait, yelling. So we went back a couple seconds, actually. Fuck the police over and over Ooh. and over. So we won't miss I'm not afraid to go back to jail. And shoot me N word. Shoot me N word. But he was using the whole word. Correct. At a Black Lives, Lives Matter rally? Correct. <laughs> and he had to be held back from attacking people. Is that a fair statement? That is a fair statement. Done. It's done. It's in. Overruled. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's not meaningful. I mean, you, it's, you could ask me two questions instead of one. Pictures you brought, correct? Correct. And you told Detective Howard about that? Correct. And the incident regarding the chain and that he kept it and was swinging it around, you told the detective about that? This is all leading. Um, <laughs> necessary to develop the testimony. Rephrase your question. Did you? Did the topic of the chain come up in your interview with law enforcement? Not that I recall. Okay. Still, still yes or no question. If it's contained in a report taken by the detective, you wouldn't dispute that, would you? I wouldn't. That's why. The answer I would. I wouldn't dispute it. Because I'm well, a nice guy. You went south of 60th and Sheridan, correct? Correct. And you were taking photographs, observing? Yes, I was. And what direction were you walking? Southbound. Okay. Did anything strange or out of the ordinary happen as you were heading south? Yes. Um, I saw a, a gentleman um, start running, and then a crowd kind of followed behind them. Okay. The individual who you saw running, do you know who that is? Not at the time. Okay. Did you know the significance of him running at the time? I did not. Had you heard anything before you saw this individual running at you? Not running at you, but running. No. Okay. And do you know who that individual is now? I do. And how do you know that? Through identification, through photographs in the media, I okay. guess I could say. Okay. And who is that person? Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. Okay. Describe what you observed. What direction was Kyle running? He was running southbound towards 63rd Street. Okay. So he's running away from the 60th Street? No, hang on. Running south, if that's easier. Okay. And how, how far did you see him get? I saw him enter, I don't know in what car source it is, but the car source that's on the corner across from the hospital, I saw him up, go up in that driveway, and that was the last. This pointer? Uh, this pointer? Yes. Oh, oh. No, this pointer? The later one? Yeah. Did you see the map behind you? Orient you. This is north. Yes. This is south. So this would be east, west. Here's a car source, gas station, ultimate car source, car source. Where did you first see Kyle Rittenhouse on this map, if you could point with the laser pointer? Is that the hospital down here? Yeah, this is the hospital parking lot. Um, is this Sheridan Road? Yes, it is. Um, I would probably say I saw Kyle right around here. Okay. And he was heading in a southerly direction? Yes. And he goes where? To car source. Okay. And when he goes into the car source parking lot, could you see him anymore? I could not, know. Did you follow him? I was making my way up there, but not in an urgent manner. Okay. And making my way uptown. I heard what <laughs> seemed to be like a firework. And then I heard, I could tell between them, uh, there was multiple gunshots. And then what did you observe? I observed Kyle walking down the same driveway that I witnessed him going up and then pick up his pace as he continued northbound on Sheridan Road. Okay. Was anybody taking note of Kyle as he headed in a northward direction on Sheridan? There was people screaming at him um, and also following him. Okay. Did you see anybody run up to him? I did. Okay. And how close were you to Kyle when this individual ran up to him? 15 feet, maybe. Okay. And that individual who ran up to him, what happened? Um, what I seen was an individual run up to him with a skateboard and swing it at him, letting go of the skateboard, and it hit Kyle between the neck and I would say the mid-back. And the skateboard, I don't know if he, Kyle kicked it because he was running when the skateboard fell, but the skateboard flew off to the side. Okay. And did that knock Kyle to the ground? Just, just, just tell us what you saw, sir. He, he stumbled. He wasn't necessarily on the ground at that point. Okay. And then what did you observe? The next thing I observed was, at the time, I did not know who it was. Um, now I can say Anthony Huber. It looked like he was trying to subdue Kyle. 
And that's when everything happened in a matter of a second. Um, that's when Kyle turned, it looked like he turned because Kyle was on the ground at this time. And that's when he kind of turned and he released one shot and it hit Anthony Huber in the chest. Okay. Did you see Anthony Huber do anything with his skateboard as he's trying to, as you said, subdue Kyle? Yes. Um, he also whacked him. I don't know if it was on his head or like his neck area again. Okay. It was all happening very fast. <laughs> yes, it did. Okay. And there was also a lot of people on my side of. Can you bring up the exhibit, please? That may become a point for cross examination. The people yeah, that were in his way, be. maybe. For his ability. I want to point out the, the, the state is using objections really effectively and it's getting to Richards. He needs to um, because calm down and just he, ask the questions right. He has a frustrating witness. Yeah. I mean, he's a good witness, but he doesn't keep going. Not, yeah, I don't know. Just to say, and then.